Also breaking this afternoon, a man is shot and killed by a League City police officer while they were serving a warrant. Investigators saying that man came at officers with a sharp object. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Keith Garvin. This all happened just before 1030 this morning on Waco near 3rd Street in League City. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is following the story for us and she joins us live from the scene with the very latest. Roseanne. Investigators have been here all morning. Neighbors tell me that they would hear fighting all the time outside this home, but they never expected a situation like this would happen. It was scary. It was a scary, you know, very scary feeling. <laughs> Neighbors here near 3rd and Waco can't quite shake what they saw. I was in the laundry room and all of a sudden I heard about, you know, the sirens and a bunch of cop cars pull up. Around 1030 Wednesday morning, she says League City police swarmed around the home next door. Marianne Beach and other neighbors watched. I saw them all pull their guns and I was looking and they were like, man, you need to get back in your house. And about that time, some of my neighbors came out also and they told us all to get back inside. League City police tell us around that time their officers had gone to serve a warrant on the 300 block of Waco. During that process, police say the man listed on the warrant came at officers with a sharp edged instrument. The officer then shot the suspect, who was later pronounced dead at the scene. Our hearts were pounding. We, you know, we got in the house because we didn't know if it, somebody was active out here, exactly what was going on. Beach doesn't know what happened, but she knows her neighbors. I know the lady across the street, and she was in a real bad situation, so I was afraid she'd been hurt. That's what went to my mind. Now, she did mention police were here last night. Uh, as for that suspect, police are not releasing the identity of the person who died. As for the police officer, he will be placed on paid administrative leave. Reporting live in League City, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.